Yeah, it was over before you know it. Right? I can show you guys it, but I want to say a warning right now. I think it looks worse than it is. And yes, I know there's a bruise on my eye. No, I don't know where it's from. I'm going to ask him. Yeah, I just want to definitely be real right now and say that that's really the hardest part. Three weeks ago, I broke my arm while rollerblading. If this is your first time here on my channel, this is not the usual content I share and put out videos for, but this is what I've been going through since January. If you did search for this video, I really hope it helps you. Three weeks ago, I broke my arm while rollerblading and they put me in a cast. After a few weeks in the cast and realizing that it was actually half numb, my fingers and my hand were numb, I was all also diagnosed with carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel so right here and right here the nerves were built up and they needed to be released tomorrow I go in to get surgery to fix all three things they're going to put the fracture back in proper alignment with a plate and screws and they're gonna release the cubital tunnel and the carpal tunnel it's all happening tomorrow and on Monday I actually start physical therapy and I'll be doing that twice a week for six weeks I'll be documenting everything that I go through in hopes that this video reaches someone going through something similar or trying to learn more about what they're about to go into if you're getting a similar surgery. If this is you, I hope this video brings you some ease, some calmness, and know that everything is going to be okay. Going into surgery, I'm actually really excited. I have a lot of energy. Some of it's a little bit nervous energy, but a lot of it is because I'm excited. I'm excited to finally have this fracture right in place perfectly and then also get these releases done because for the past three weeks this hand has been completely numb and it's severely uncomfortable so I'm actually excited to get the surgery and then just begin the process of healing completely if you're a little bit nervous going into a surgery like this or any kind of surgery I definitely recommend guided meditation so for me last night I couldn't really sleep that well that was two nights out and then tonight is the night before surgery and I'm sure I'll be you know a little bit excited and nervous going to sleep thinking about the next day so for me in that case I do not like to lay down and to just sit with my swirling kind of worried and um, sometimes negative thoughts so instead I like to listen to a guided meditation and that helps definitely bring me to a place of calm and ease and actually just knowing that everything is going to be okay so like I've said in past videos I just literally go on YouTube and type in anything I'm looking for so if it's a calming sleep meditation or a healing or anxiety meditation whatever I kind of feel is going on I definitely just type it in and there are tons and tons of videos for that other things I'm doing today to make sure I prep for surgery tomorrow is taking off my nail polish I only have a clear coat on right now but they want no nail polish you can't wear makeup jewelry and I've already picked out a really cozy outfit to wear just some sweats and a comfy sweater and I have anything of comfort here like food and tea and I'm gonna go get the medication today that I'll need I'll have everything lined up ready to go so that's that's all about how I'm prepping for my surgery physically, mentally, in terms of things I'm going to need and things I had to get done. Tomorrow I'll check back in here on the way and I'll continue sharing my updates here because when I went to search for a video of getting the carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel release, and also getting my broken bone fixed, I didn't see anyone that had a surgery with all three. So by sharing this process, I really hope it reaches whoever needs it and whoever might be going through something similar. So I'll see you guys tomorrow good morning Hi, honey. it's too early for this it's 4 37 i have to be um to the surgery center at 5 20 the ucla surgery center and i'm just excited to get this done with i have like aching and pain in my wrist every day for three weeks so I'm excited to, it to be like good pain healing pain I think I have everything I have my blanket <laughs> I have myself I didn't eat fasting didn't sip water so I think I'm ready to go and we'll keep you guys updated how it's going How are you feeling? Amazing. You're all done? Yeah, it was over before you know it. Right? It what was pretty quick. So what happened? You went in and what happened? 
they uh, had to give me a, a block to numb this whole arm. Mm -hmm. And there was like a shot right here. Yeah. It was only like a little bit uncomfortable, but just felt a little bit of pressure, but now my hand's numb and they said that'll help with the pain. Okay. And... Do you remember falling asleep? Yeah, they sawed off my cast. Oh yeah. And they got me in the OR. Uh-huh. And they were like, now it's time for NASCAR. They were like, no. doing all the things. Yeah, and they were wrapping up my arm, getting it ready. They gave me heated blankets. That's nice. Uh, I forget what else. They took this arm out straight and put blankets on it. And... I forgot what else. What happened when you fell asleep? They put the thing over your face and then you just, you fell asleep. Oh no, they, this, they put everything in my IV. Oh. Uh, yeah, they put everything, they gave me fluids first. Uh -huh. And they gave me, I think, the anesthesia in my arm, my IV. Uh -huh. And I talked to the doctor before I went in and he was really helpful. All the nurses were so nice. Jessica was my nurse. That's nice. And I kept asking for heated blankets. <laughs> and they put one big heated blanket over me because I get cold. Yeah. And before you know it, I woke up. So your arm's good? You can use it? And just, you can go play tennis with it now? It just, and due that? to the block, mm -hmm. I can't feel it. Okay. And they said that'll last up to 16 hours. And it's good for pain management and stuff. Yeah. And... So you can't play tennis with it just yet? I want to play tennis. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe. Okay. That's about it for me. Okay. Well, I love you. I'm happy uh, you're, you're feeling okay. I love you. Thank you for being here. Of course. prescriptions and we are going home and going to sleep <laughs> um, I think that's really it I feel very happy very happy I've been jamming to music just very happy that it's all over and the worst is behind us all right I'll check back in with you guys soon made it to bed all bandaged up and elevated. I have some food here, and of course, my mushi. Mushi, say hi. You stay with me, buddy. The only thing that's nuts is I can't move my hand or my arm. So, like, moving on pillows and stuff, I'm like, Greg, just pull the whole thing. <laughs> just feels like pins and needles and some numbness um i'm gonna try and get some rest hello hello i'm doing my last update for today the first day of the day i got surgery it's about eight o'clock i have a mountain of pillows elevating my hand and the bandages go all the way up and then i have this pillow here so nothing falls and um, as for the nerve block, where they numbed my entire arm for 12 to 16 hours, it was really helpful because when I got home, you know, I wasn't in that much pain. It was just, I felt like a dead arm. <laughs> and I actually couldn't fall back asleep the rest of the day, which was fine. I just laid here with Mushu and Greg and we watched, you know, TV and relaxed. And I'm kind of happy about that because... I'll be on a like good sleeping night schedule. 
And something that's really, really important is making sure that you and whoever is taking care of you know all of the aftercare instructions, know all of your pain management instructions, and just do exactly what they say. We even called one of the nurses um, tonight to confirm everything. Like They have no problem wherever you go answering all your questions they want you to be you know safe and to be healthy and you know not to be in too much pain it did get a little painful at some points you know going to the bathroom and trying to you know get in a good position but honestly just find a good position and rest that is your only job rest and let your body heal take all of your medications and for a surgery like this we were getting a couple of things done like you definitely want someone staying with you or if you need like a recovery center, do that, you know. Um, if you have parents, best friend, a neighbor, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, like having someone with you that can honestly attend to your every need is something that is actually like necessary. You just wanna have that comfort. Something else I love doing today, I FaceTimed my my mom, my dad, my family. Um, and I was just like, just tell me stories, you know, um, and them telling me stories, it was relaxing and it took my mind off of things. And, um, so that was fun. That's a good idea too. So I'm going to watch a little bit more TV and then go to bed. And lastly, don't forget to stay hydrated. I have my water laying in bed with me at all times. If I'm thirsty, take a sip, like, if you're out in surgery, you know, you weren't drinking water, you were fasting. So make sure you get that water back in you. It's really important for all of the cells in your body and especially for healing. So yeah, I'm going to head off to bed suit and I will see you guys in another update tomorrow. Yeah. Hi, YouTube family. Day one post-op. Friday, February 5th, 2021. It's 8.43 a.m. Drinking coffee. I'm drinking my water. And I am eating the most delicious meal. Let me try and show you guys. I don't think it looks amazing, but it really is. It's butternut squash ravioli, ravioli over a bed of kale. It's from one of our favorite vegan places here in Los Angeles called Sage. It's in Culver City, if you guys are local. So good, so delicious. So I had to get some favorite meals. <laughs> and yes, I'm eating this for breakfast. So let me give you guys a quick update and a few other tips I've come across. Like I said yesterday, I didn't go to sleep during the day at all, which was fine. So I went to bed around 11. And, you know, I actually listened to another meditation, a calming meditation. Um, it was guided. And that actually really helped just relax and put my mind, you know, at ease and to rest. And I definitely took a pain medication before I went to bed so then I could sleep. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday, but managing your pain on the appropriate schedule is going to be so important for your recovery. Just because the first few days, that is really most important, making sure that everything starts to heal and that you're not suffering too badly. Second, if you have a, a lot of medications to take, I'm taking a few various things, try and make a list like this. And this is Greg, Greg made this list for me. And the columns are, you know, the type of drug, the dosage, and the time, and a check mark when I take it. And that's really just helping us keep um, on track with everything. And again, you can always call the surgery center, the nurse, wherever you got your surgery done to double check everything. Like, better to be safe than sorry. So always call if you need to. The third thing is to cuddle with any animal that you have. So Mushu's been laying right here with me. And he lays with me like the whole time at night. He sleeps on this side of me and it's been, you know, very comforting to have. <laughs> Fourth thing is when you go into surgery, make sure you're wearing a comfy shirt because I don't know when I'll be able to take this shirt off um, in the future, hopefully in a few days. But right now, I'm not trying to move my arm too much. I keep it very elevated with my fingers a little bit higher so everything can drain and come back down. The inflammation can go down here. 
but this is just a really cozy comfy tank top i really would recommend a tank top just because you don't want anything in the way and if you get too hot you can always take like your sweater off or i've just been like having blankets on me if i get cold but yeah when you go in just wear a comfy tank top shirt because uh, you'll be wearing it for a few days my last tip today post op day one is to know that this pain and whatever you're feeling is temporary this might be uncomfortable it's going to be uncomfortable but everything gets better like your arm or your elbow whatever you got done anywhere on your body right any type of surgery you are on the road to recover. You are ready to heal. Your body's healing. It's an overdrive healing. Any uncomfortableness you might be feeling, it is the first step to a full recovery. So again, if you need, listen to a guided meditation, watch TV. I've called all my family members and just told them to talk to me, talk to me about your day, tell me stories. Anything to distract you is really helpful. And then my last tip I wanted to share today was that if you're getting the carpal tunnel or cubital tunnel surgery done, it's going to be a lot, lot easier than, um, you know, getting everything. So I got a, um, the break in my bone for my fracture. I got that fixed and they put a plate and 13 screws into the bone to fix it. And so I think that's what's like causing the most, um, uncomfortability right now. Is uncomfortability a word? I'll just say that like it's the most uncomfortable right now is this part. So honestly, my elbow doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> and my hand, um, it just, it's hurting a little bit. But yeah, if you get either of these surgeries, they're not going to be as bad at all compared to the bone one. So if you're here looking for a carpal tunnel or a cubital tunnel, understanding of, you know, how the surgery recovery is, really really not as bad lean on your support system i have gregory here getting every single thing for me food water helping me go to the bathroom literally everything and then i have my parents and my grandparents and everyone just like on call as i need them my best friends so just make sure you have everyone like oh we're like hey you know might need some support during this time and i'm sure they'll be more than happy okay i think that's my full update for the start of day one and i'll catch you guys later hello youtube it's day two post-op it is saturday february i think it's the 6th it's about eight o'clock in the morning right now and i had a great night's sleep so last night i think like everything finally hit me um the tiredness and i fell asleep at like 5 p.m i went to sleep from like five to seven no like five to eight and then woke up had some dinner and um watched some tv and then went back to bed around like 11 or 12 and slept until 7 30 so on the second night of sleeping after surgery i slept a lot more it was amazing um so yeah my hand right now is just covered up by this blanket i like to do that um just to keep it warm and everything and soon in about 15 minutes so i took some pain medication when i woke up and um, once that kicks in and everything, I'm going to start doing my finger movements. It is so, so important. You don't want any scar tissue developing. You want full range of motion. You want to make a full, full recovery. And do not forget to do every single thing that your doctor is saying about the exercises. So I'm in really good spirits here. I have all my goodies, my coffee, my water, um, chapstick, and a ton of pillows and blankets. I like to be so super cozy. This actually on top of me was a gift from some of my best friends back home in New York. I don't know if I updated you guys, but I got to change my tank top yesterday. So wearing a new black tank top and after day one, it gets better. So I was able to take my tank top off my arm and put a new one on. I'm getting in and out of bed without it being, you know, as much pain as it was on day one. So, so just remember, like, this is all going to go away pretty quickly. It's going to be feeling great pain management but i just wanted to share my day two update so far this morning i'm gonna drink some coffee i have been binge watching the hills i'm on i'm on like season four because these episodes are like 20 minutes long so you know get yourself a show or rewatch a show that you love and just you know chill and do your exercises and relax and focus on healing i'll check back in with you guys later 
Hello, hello, happy Sunday and post-op day three. Um, mainly today, my fingers just feel super swollen, as you can see. Let's see, they are just pretty swollen um, as my arm and there's bruising starting, which is fine, you know. That's what's gonna happen when they work on your bone and your arm and everything, so. Yesterday, I took an hour nap, which was amazing, and then I slept from like 11 to like 7.30, so I'm getting a really good night's sleep, um, you know, just constantly making sure I'm taking my medicine, and what I really have to say, if you're going to get, you know, some of these surgeries, is just prepare yourself to stay in bed and rest for a few days, because actually for probably up to five days because it's just going to be the most important thing so again like watching tv or reading or facetiming with people family and friends making sure you're entertained yesterday afternoon i was just walking around the living room a little bit with my hand and my arm in a sling just to like get some movement and tomorrow i'll be getting out of the house to go to physical therapy in the morning and getting all these bandages off. They'll be looking at everything, making sure things moving are moving properly. So yeah, I'm having some good hand movement. The thumb is the hardest one. I'm really trying on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna be taking my other hand and moving them to make them, you know, go up and down and side to side. So I am going to be taking a shower today, which I'm really excited about. Just putting um, a garbage bag on my arm and just taking like a quick shower. So getting cleaned up, which I am super pumped about. The pain has gone down a little bit. So I would say maybe it's a five out of 10, you know, compared to if the first day was like a 10 out of 10, then the next day was like an eight. And now it's down to a five. But yeah, when you're working on your hand, doing your exercises and your movements, it does, of course, hurt a little bit worse. But um, if you have any breathing exercises, any favorite ones that you do or breath work, um, breathing techniques, I really like to do that during the hand exercises um, or just taking super big, deep breath. That's really helped me just, you know, focus on my breath and not um, anything that's happening with my hands and any pain that's going on. So that is my update for now. It is 1047 a.m. I've had a croissant. I've had coffee probably gonna have some more food i'm getting a little bit hungry and i'll see you guys later all right everyone you might not recognize me because i have showered and washed my hair and got all cleaned up it is 5 p.m super bowl sunday so today as you can tell i was feeling better so i got all showered up cleaned up and got into my comfy cozy robe that i love we changed the sheets since i've been living in this bed for four or five days so greg changed the sheets and i still have my hand up on all these pillows and then it's covered by this pillow up top because i like keeping it warm um, doing my finger exercises and everything, but I'm definitely back in a comfy position. Might watch the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Who knows? But I'm feeling really good. Not as tired today. Um, showering was definitely a little bit tiring. I actually was in like in the tub and did kind of like a shower tub situation, but I probably won't be taking a nap and I'm probably just going to eat some dinner in a little bit, relax and you know get ready for my hand therapy appointment tomorrow 8 30 a.m very very excited for that and i'll give you guys an update then good morning day four post-op fingers are swollen still and just you know making sure i'm moving them and whatnot headed to physical therapy this morning it is probably about 7 30 a.m i woke up around six in some pain then you know if you wake up in pain just take some medication and try and relax and breathe through it and yeah i'm excited to head out soon and get all of these bandages off so like my whole entire arm is bandaged up and get a brace 
back from physical therapy. I'm feeling pretty good. Physical therapy felt great. They took all of my bandages off, so my arm is breathing and getting some fresh air, and I felt like it was like a little bit tight in the bandages, which it wasn't. It was just me thinking that, and it feels a lot better now. I was there initially for like an hour and a half for my first visit, and I'm gonna go twice a week, so I'm gonna go um, later on this week, and yeah that's for six weeks where my arm was bruising and everything from the surgery is now turning like yellow and everything is completely aired out so where all my stitches are there's like stereo strips over it so obviously the, st the stitches aren't exposed um i can show you guys it but i want to say a warning right now if you're squeamish or if you don't like the look of anything you know not appealing or maybe kind of gross it's really it's not the worst i think it looks worse than it is um and that's just because there's a lot of stitches so remember i got three things done three different incisions my hand so the palm my hand my wrist and my elbow so i do want to say a warning right now and just fast forward a little bit more if you don't want to see this All right, if you're still here, I promise you it's not that bad, but yeah, here it is. So I'm gonna lift my hand up a little bit and I'm gonna go slowly. So here you can still see there's like swelling here, swelling here, which is fine. And here it is. So my hand, that's where they did the carpal tunnel surgery. Down here they did the fracture surgery. And down here on my elbow was the cubital tunnel surgery. And again, it's just all yellow and bruising. I have good strength. I can do, you know, whatever with my, not whatever with my arm, but I can do some things with my arm, moving my hands more, which is good. And yeah, I'm not in too much pain. So if that looks bad to you, it just looks worse than it is. And my mom had the same surgery, except for um, she didn't do the elbow one. And her scar looks really good. So, you know, someone said, well, am I concerned about scarring or anything? And I said, not really. I actually have a scar here on my eyebrow from something that happened like back in 2011 and that one I was more concerned about because I wanted my eyebrow to grow back you know I didn't want a big scar on my face but my arm and my elbow I'm not really concerned about and before I just used Mederma and I also use like this um, roller ball to kind of massage the skin and stuff so when everything's healed I will of course you know put some cream and lotion and Mederma and whatever else on the scar but I'm definitely not concerned about that today at physical therapy they said everything looks good there's no bleeding everything's closed up healing great no infection so like I got the best news, you know, everything couldn't have gone better. I had a really, really nice hand therapist. Greg got me an after um, therapy little treat, <laughs> so I thought that was super sweet. And he went grocery shopping after he dropped me off, so um, if you guys know what to get someone who's been taking care of you for weeks and almost months, let me know. I feel like I should send him on like a vacation or something, just because... He's done everything from laundry to cooking and taking care of me, every single thing I need. I asked to get this water bottle filled up like five times a day, <laughs> all my medicine. Um, he's just honestly the best. So yeah, I'm feeling great. Honestly, today's a really good day, Monday. I'm just happy everything is off. Um, the bandages are off. I'm just feeling good, like it's breathing. Um, the other thing I wanted to share was that um, if you've ever gotten your tonsils out, that's worse. I know that sounds like a minor thing, but getting your tonsils out is so bad because you can't swallow, you can't eat, you can't chew. Like that healing process is worse. Like think about all the things you can do while your arm's healing. Like I've eaten the most delicious things. Greg yesterday made me mushroom risotto and sweet potatoes. I've been eating all the takeout food I want, dessert, ice cream. <laughs> But I honestly thought getting your tonsils taken out was worse because, yeah, you couldn't swallow or, or eat that well for, like, I think it was, like, two weeks. <laughs> At least I can eat, which is fun to do while you're laying in bed. So that's my update for today, and I'll catch you guys later. Hello, day five post-op. Mushi's saying hello. <laughs> I'm out of bed today. I am feeling a lot better. I am actually sitting on um, like a big yoga ball. What's it called? Like a, a workout ball. Here, I'll show you guys real quick. This 
type of ball. And yes, all I do is wear fuzzy pants. And so I wanna give you guys an update on yesterday. So yesterday after physical therapy, I actually was in uh, more pain than I had been before. So physical therapy, they're gonna take your hand, they're gonna move it around, you're gonna be doing exercises. And because of that, it's going to be a little bit more painful than just like, you know, the normal baseline that you're feeling during recovery. So I just want to share, like be prepared for that and make sure again, you have any pain medication or any of the pain management, you know, tools that you're using make sure you have that lined up for the next few hours after physical therapy um, I also took like a two-hour nap it kind of like wears you out because you haven't been doing anything and today I decided you know I'm gonna be sitting on this um, workout ball because for the past four days or five days I've been laying in bed and that's just like not good for your back so my back started you know hurting a little bit I was like let me just sit up and over here let me see if I can show you guys it is just like a little end table we have over here and we put a pillow on top um, just so my arm is propped up and I don't have to hold it or anything so today's actually been a pretty good day in terms of I am alive <laughs> I said to Greg thank god I feel alive today and I actually it's um, 11 a.m. right now we got about like 7 and I got a lot of work done I'm getting um, some editing done and getting, getting back to emails and messages and I feel really good um, I'm also doing all of these hand and finger exercises so there's about uh, maybe like five pages of these and I'm gonna do them a couple times a day and the whole thing takes probably at least at least 30 minutes just because they are there are so many exercises to do um, and while I do them I definitely watch TV for a distraction and yeah I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm definitely feeling better my biggest thing was yesterday after after the physical therapy was um, I was pretty just down in you know in that kind of pain I'm just like when is this going to get better you know so waking up today definitely helped me I did wake up once at 2 a.m. Um, to take a pain medication. I'm just trying not to take, you know, any more than I have to. So I'm not taking any um, in terms of like, oh, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna take a pain medication to sleep through the night. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just doing it when I absolutely need it because of course I'm hoping to wean down off the pain medication. So I'll update you guys later. Bright and sunny, good morning, day six. It's 7.30 in the morning and we are headed to, hi Greg, shout out Greg, MVP, you got no sleep because all I do is ask for every single thing, so thank you honey, <laughs> Greg needs a vacation. Here's my hand, it's in a, a brace, and yes I painted my nails because I love having my nails painted. <laughs> Anywho, so we're going to the first post-op appointment with my surgeon and my my hand doctor who I've been going to. And hopefully says everything looks good in terms of movement. And yes, I know there's a bruise on my eye. No, I don't know where it's from. I'm gonna ask him where it's from. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so I'll hit you guys with the update after the appointment. I totally forgot to give the update earlier. It's like 7.30 now. First update is my eye. I was like, you know, what happened in the OR? Did you drop a tool? What happened? And he's like, so when they put you to sleep, they put on tape on your eyes to keep them closed. And he's like, that's the only thing I can think of like that happened with your eyes. So... He doesn't know obviously it's just a bruise and it'll go away but super weird besides that they took x-rays of my new wrist um so i'll share that now Thirteen screws and one plate, and the doctor was very, very happy with the placement, with how it looks. I did my wrist movements, and he was very, very pleased with that. He just wants me to work on one more exercise as well, and of course, everything with physical therapy. But he was really, really happy. He said he was proud of me, and I was, you know, really happy to hear that. And I was basically like, you know, 
when does it stop hurting? And he was like, in three months, you're going to be completely different. This is going to be completely healed and everything. So I think I just need to hold out for another week or so. And, you know, the pain will stop being so constant. Like today is day six and I'm really just a little bit getting worn down and breaking down because the pain is just so constant and I'm trying not to take so many um, pain medications but yeah I want to be real with you guys that the constant pain is something I haven't dealt with before <laughs> and it's just like um, also after like the physical therapist or the doctor moves everything um, you know because they want to see what it can do and needs to be stretched or else it's going to stay stuck and it's going to be stiff right and you're not going to get your range of motion back so you know, um, after that happened. So that's today. And then I have another appointment, physical therapy appointment tomorrow. The pain is like pretty bad just because, you know, your arm's been like, sh like right now it's under the blanket, just straight out. And I do my movements at home a few times a day, but yeah, they're pretty intense on it. Of course they have to be. So yeah, I just want to definitely be real right now and say that that's really the hardest part going into surgery and um honestly the first day was pretty bad but after that wasn't too bad because you're still on a lot of you're on more pain medicine but um you know once you start getting it moved around in therapy and definitely once you're hitting like the week mark of damn like I've been suffering for a week. It's really, really hard. I actually had a Reiki healing session today, a remote one, where um, my Reiki healer called me and did a virtual, um, like a remote session that helped a lot because, um, believe it or not, I was a lot worse earlier in the day. And, you know, it was like a 40 minute session and she helped me really, really, really relax. And I was pain free the whole time she was doing it. So it felt really good and yeah, again, doing what I can to deal with the pain. Right now I'm just watching TV and I think tomorrow I'll take another shower. Um, you know, that feels good. Wash my hair, <laughs> feel like a person a little bit. And they did say that the first two weeks people are usually taking the pain medication. So one week down almost, tomorrow's week one, one more week to go. I'll probably keep on um, filming and documenting the rest of week two, just because if someone's getting this done, you know, I, I would have rather known that it's going to be a longer haul than I thought. I was watching videos about the carpal tunnel stuff. And again, like if you're getting carpal tunnel or cubital tunnel surgery, it's not going to be this bad. If you're getting a fracture fixed with um, a plate and screws, it's going to be worse, right? And then I got all three done. So those carpal tunnel videos, they were like, in three days, one of the guys went back to work and I was like, oh, that's amazing. And I actually worked for like a half day on Monday. I was like just doing emails and I can choose when I work, which is honestly the biggest blessing right now. Like I don't have to call out or anything. I work for myself so I can choose to work or not work. And that's taken a lot of pressure off, but I was feeling great on Monday before physical therapy and I worked for like five hours. Um, but then, yeah, I'm like, I, I can't work yesterday, today. And again, I'm taking definitely this whole week and I'll see what happens next week. But <sighs> That is day six, a little bit, you know, harder than the rest of the days have been. And I'll see you tomorrow for my last update for this video. Hello, day seven, officially one week after my surgery. It's 1130 in the morning and I took my second shower since surgery. I showered by myself, standing up, washed my hair. I can kind of do everything with one hand. I have like a pump for my shampoo and conditioner and I just have a bar of soap that I use. So that's all easy. And I just kept my hand kind of like up and um, I did get some warm water on it. They said that that's totally fine, you know, to get it wet right now. And I thought the, you know, the warmth from the shower might help with loosening, loosening it up a little bit because it's a little stiff, obviously. Right now, it's like sitting on my iPad because it can't bend back or forward like this. And it can bend 
forward um, a little bit like that, but um, going back is having a harder time. And yesterday, that's what the doctor was mostly like talking about. Like, all your other exercises are good besides this one you need to keep working on bringing it back. So today is definitely a better day so far. Yesterday was, of course, a hard day and there are hard hours, there are hard minutes, there are hard days. Um, the best thing is that, you know, in between all of the hard and painful times, there are times of like relaxation and, you know, honestly, I don't know if it's weird, but, um, taking a shower feels so freaking good. Like just washing your hair and feeling like a normal person and clean. So this is my final update for the video. I am thinking about doing maybe like a part two of um, you know, what my week two of recovery will look like since I do have about a week or so more to go in terms of, you know, taking pain medication and resting a lot of the time. But yeah, overall, I obviously, if you have to get this done, like get it, like it's com it's completely worth it because my hand is going to heal 100%. Yesterday, the doctor was so, so happy with how everything looked. He said, I'm gonna make a full recovery. The carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel release, I will never have numbing and tingling in any part of my arm or hand ever again. So it's all completely worth it. And something that I have to remember, and if you're going through this, just remember that the pain is temporary. Whatever you need to do to get through it, cry, call someone, FaceTime people, watch TV for distractions, just whatever, like eat pizza, <laughs> eat Domino's, whatever you need to do to just deal with it. And also tell yourself that, you know, in a week, in two weeks, my doctor said in three months time, my arm will be completely better. Not saying like, like the pain's going to go away quicker than that, but he's like in three, in three months, you're not even going to recognize, you know, where you were before back in February. Also above anything I've ever said in this video, listen to your doctor and listen to whoever is your like physical therapist or whoever you're going to take their advice and listen to everything they say. What I'm saying to you guys is everything that um, my doctor said to me and what I'm going through, but your case totally might be different, right? It might be a different kind of surgery, it might be a different kind of healing process. So above anything I've said in this video, just listen to your doctors. So I would love to answer any other questions you guys have about this journey or any of these surgeries in the comments below. I don't think I'm going to show you guys my arm anymore until it's healed because they took off the strips and right now you can see just all the stitches all the way my elbow and my hand and my arm and it's not that pretty so I definitely don't want to you know gross anyone out here. I am definitely feeling a lot better one week after the surgery which honestly is incredible. So I love you guys. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram for the daily update. I'm sharing more there and I'm sharing more quickly than I can here like record a whole video, edit and upload. So if you want quicker updates then definitely follow me on my Instagram. If you're going through anything similar or getting a surgery or healing in any type of way, I'm sending you all my love, all my good energy. Please, please know that. I love you guys. Anyone that needs it, I'm wishing you guys a speedy, speedy recovery. If you did like this video, if it did help you, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.